Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Freeways. So if you haven't seen this before, this is like a road designer uh, where the focus is to get the most efficient traffic layouts you can. Uh, like this example, which ignore that. This is the most effective junction layout you could possibly have and it pretty much works for every junction. Uh, if we head to our map you can see we've completed a load of levels. Some are kind of simple, some are kind of complex looking and others are a total mess but uh, I'm having fun so that's all that counts. But first I'm delighted to say that this video is sponsored. So imagine you're one of these people that works here. They've got a long drive home navigating the brain and then once they get in all they want to do is watch Netflix. However if they want to watch Top Gear, look it's not available what are they gonna do? Well, using Atlas VPN, they can come down here and they can select where they want to be in the world. So now when they search for Top Gear, it appears because Netflix thinks they're located in a different district. Right now, Atlas VPN are running a huge discount. It means you can get a three year subscription for just $1.39 a month. And it includes a 30 day money back guarantee. You can get access to this deal by clicking the link in my description below. Now, Alice VPN isn't just for changing your Netflix location and getting access to different content. It blocks malicious links, ads and trackers and notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. It works at lightning fast speed, so you can still stream your favorite shows and game online at blazing speeds. It can help you get the best deals while shopping online. Atlas VPN also protects all your devices with a single subscription. And not only that, if you use the deal by clicking the link in my description, this is the best VPN deal on the market. $1.39 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. So thank you Atlas VPN for sponsoring. Really appreciate your support of the channel. Let's hope we can use that to build these guys a more efficient junction. So these blank squares, we've got eight. They are the remaining levels so far. I think once we unlock all of them, the map sort of expands again and we'll be surrounded by new levels again. So shall we start in the top left? So let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. So we've got the same thing in the opposite corner. And then we've also got this yellow building in the middle, which I have no idea what sign that's meant to be. Is it? one of those wavy, happy, flappy arm mans. Yeah, yeah, it is, because they're selling cars, and that's a car on the bottom right. Cool, so people want to go to that. Oh, God. So when we when we click on one of these and hold the mouse button, you can see different arrows. That's where people want to go from there. So generally, mainly people want to go to the bottom left. Uh, from east, they just want to go straight. So that's probably a good place to start. I think we'll just draw our road in, and I, I love this, that you can just draw whatever you want just by hand. Uh, but that's the main traffic sort of from there and then they just want a little slip road up to there. I won't do that yet. I'm just going to check out the main roads first. So yeah, that is a straight through it. They don't want to go onto the road that we've drawn already. They only want to go across. Okay, that's quite that's quite interesting actually. So I'm sort of thinking like this is like a perfect hamburger roundabout sort of thing because these these roads, they only want to go on and off. So this one will go up and then we'll round about around over to there. And then we'll go up. And now this is a light gray. That means it's a bridge. And then we're going back down to ground level. And then we'll just go straight in. Uh, we're then going to add that road in to there. And then do these want to go? Yeah, they want to go down there. So we'll do a bit of that. And then sort of thinking we do the same thing. Because obviously everyone's going to this wavy flappy arm car showroom. But they can't leave. So we've got to make them leave. So we're going to come out. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over there. Cut across. Back down. Join in. All right, and then that comes down. All right, so this one east road, we want to connect that into the car showroom. All right, so I was going to connect this road in there, but obviously I've done that junction a bit close. There's not really a gap. Also, that would mean there was a merge before a diverge, uh, which you don't want because you sort of like double up the traffic there. Whereas if this road, I take it round here and I connect in there, then you can see traffic that's on here, they come off first before these guys merge on. Oh, these guys want to get back on. Well, that's pretty simple, because we can do from this corner, just straight on like that. Yeah, I was going to merge on there, but again, we're doubling our traffic there. So if we do it from there instead, then we're, we're taking people off before these people join. Ah, oh, so these guys can't get to green. Well, they can get to green. They just have to go through the garage, and they don't want to go through the garage, I'm guessing. Do that. Now we're complete. Right, so now we can press this stopwatch button down here. Boosh. And then we simulate, and you can see all the cars moving. Like, years and years are passing. Oh, and bloody hell, 510. I think that's a really good score. I think generally you want to aim for like two to 300. So that's really good. And to make that score, it's combined with our traffic flow, which is 90. That's a pretty high number. 
A concrete use, which obviously the shorter your roads are and the shorter your bridges, etc., the less concrete you use. But yeah, nice. Cool. Back to the map. So now you can see on our top left, our new roundabouty thing. It's now part of the entire road network. Shall we do the square underneath, which connects the brain? Okay, so we have a lot of different shops. Mal, is that a mall? It sort of looks like a piano shop. I'm thinking for this one, we just want a roundabout around it. Okay, so let's draw a roundabout first. You know, keep it nice and tight to try and use as little concrete as possible. Then we'll connect these arms up. So that one, that one. I feel like if we go from there, then we've got our diverge before the merge. And then the same connecting in, we probably want to join there. Network complete. That was quite a simple one. Let's press the button and see how well it does. Oh god, look at that. Oh no, it's really clogged. It's jammed. Maybe we just want more options for people coming off the blue road. So if we could do, I don't know, straight through... Thinking if we go along there, we can connect these guys into there. Then they're not joining the main circulatory road. So that's the greens coming. If we bring these guys around and connect after that, and that's all the other colours sorted. Yeah, if we bring this down to yellow, then those guys are going to go round to get to orange and purple. But we could do that. So now yellows will come down there. So now we've got half the traffic using this top loop and the other half using this middle bit. So that's, that's half the traffic. But to get over to there, we can do our normal arm. So we can do that. And that is complete. Shall we try that? I'm sort of thinking we might need one of these to come off on their own separate route. Oh, it's already jamming up there. I don't know. Let's press simulate and see if it works. I think it's better. Oh, it's, it's clogged. It's clogged. Oh, we made it. 297. And if you look here, we've got this symbol with 300. If we get to 300 efficiency, uh, we unlock a photo. So looking at this, we've got not a lot of concrete use, but our traffic flow is really low. So let's try and add something in that I think should help. So I'm sort of thinking if we come off there, go up over that. That's a horrible 90 degree bend. That could help. Apart from the, uh, <laughs> apart from those cars that were like proper doing Tokyo Drift when they came out. Shall we see if that's any better? Because now there's less. Oh yeah, look, that didn't jam at all. 420. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's actually pretty good though. I will definitely take that. And look, we've unlocked the pick. Ooh, real life highway designs. The most impressive interchanges are found in the suburbs. This hypnotizing one is outside Atlanta. That's like the most complex four-way <laughs> interchange I've ever seen. What a mess. Now, I'm going to assume like over to the right, there's like two motorways that like split off up there maybe. Otherwise, it's just bonkers and I don't understand. Uh, but right, sweet. On to the next level. I think we're just going to work around like anti-clockwise. So we'll do this one next. Ooh, dear. All right, so we've got broken glass there. That doesn't have an in or out. I think that's just like something to be avoided. This could be like a city. It could just be like a stack load of chairs next to each other. Uh, and that's just like an old stop sign, but made out of wood. They want to go to the chairs and the chairs want to go back to them. Okay. Oh, they really want to go down there. So that's probably our first thing to do. So we'll draw a big bend down to there. Right. And then down here, these guys really want to go to these chairs. So we'll go along there and in. So now they're the like main traffic things sorted on this level. I'm sort of, I'm feeling roundabouts all the time now. So if we were to roundabout, no, I think, I think we just, we hot cross bun it. And I assume we want to go as close to the junctions as possible. So I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not really sure what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Over that one. We're always trying to make our bridges perpendicular. That's not the best example. Oh bollocks, I went the wrong way. I went up again. Damn it. But yeah, we always want to cross bridges perpendicular. And you'll see this in real life as well. That's just to uh, keep the bridge shorter because it makes them cost less. Because if you're spanning a large a gap. Your like bridge structure has to be stronger. Uh, therefore, it will cost more. Right. So to connect stuff up, I think we just bung you on there. Take you down there. All right. So now we need to connect our roundabout onto this. I think coming around that way is the shortest route. Right, and then we just want to connect this one up. So that pretty much connects onto there. But I'm guessing we can probably go under our mega bridge and connect onto that to get to the blue. From the green, they can't get onto the roundabout. So if we just do that on there, we are connected in. It's a bit messy, but it might work. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks pretty smooth. Not the best. 
433. I think we'll take that one. Happy with that. So back to main menu. We've now got this block to do underneath that one. Oh, wow. There is broken glass everywhere. What a mess. Okay, we've also got some weird puzzle pieces. Is this crying out for a roundabout through there? I'm sort of seeing that straight up. So I'm going to attempt to put a roundabout through the middle. Uh, whether it's going to work, not entirely sure, but it just looks right. But uh, let's connect everything up. So coming off that arm, stick close over there. Same with you and you. So that's the network complete. I'm sort of wondering if it's worth trying to put like hamburgery bits in because we've got all this space in the middle. You can see it's like clogging up already. Let's press simulate. I think it's going to end in tears. Yeah, it's going to get jammed or is it going to make it? It did make it 115. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. So let's clear that one and try and make it more efficient. So although the roundabout is good, some direct routes, like some options would be better. Maybe from green up to there. So we'll do green up to there. So that's you lot sorted. Yeah, so let's come, I don't know, from down there, go round over to there. Right, this one, where do we want to go with you? Over down to there, really. So I'm not sure how much engineering is going to go on. Oh, bollocks. I accidentally right-clicked. <laughs> so right-click makes you go up. What? <laughs> That's so pointless. But I'm thinking if we come off there, we can go over that and then back down and connect in there. And then if they want to get to orange, I think we can just go through that sign and over the top. Green, they want to get to red. So I think the best choice for them is to come along this road and then we can just cut over there, go over the top, and connect in there. Blue, they can only go that way for now. So they're going to want to go over the top as well. I'm sort of thinking a little bridge there. So now these blue guys can get over that and then maybe we just want to bring them round and connect some, or maybe over that way. Yeah, maybe round the glass to there. God, this is a right mess at the moment. <laughs> So the only remaining one is this orange. So with them, I'm thinking connect straight up to there and then maybe do a bridge over that and come down there. Yeah, okay. So we'll come down, do a bridge. Over. This is going to be quite a long bridge. Not ideal. To there, back down, down, straight into there. Then all of these, we can do little arms off. So we can say connect to that, connect to that. And that's the network complete. It looks messier to me, but I don't know. Will it work better? Only one way to find out. It's looking good actually there's not really any traffic oh there is traffic now 322 all right so on the next level we've got two massive lollipop builds that we want to avoid okay i think to start we'll just do the stand just because i can see like a straight line we'll literally just do straight across and then we'll do the same for that down to there we'll do a little bridge as short as possible but nice so that's the straight throughs done and then it's i don't know i'm sort of feeling like a mix of like maybe one of the windmill ones that we did last time. So to get from this road up to there, we're going to want to come along here. We probably want to put a little bridge over there and connect in. So we want to do the same for like the opposite route. Coming from here, we want to come under that bridge, come that way, over the top, back down, connect in. Question is, how do we get from blue over to red? I think we're going to need like two bridges and maybe a parallel road. Yeah, that could look, yeah, that looks like, like a thing to do. So, so then we'll do a diagonal bridge like that. And hopefully we can connect in. I may have done that bridge a bit too long. Is that connected? I think that's connected. All right, and then we're doing the bottom left one now. So over there, back down. Nice. We just need to do little arms for those. I'll tell you what, we could bring them off and under there. Yeah, let's try that. So to get people coming from the north to go that direction, we're gonna tell them to come onto this road and then slide under there. There you go. Now you see these orange cars, they're coming down and doing that. So we should be able to do similar with this one. So if we want to go that way, we can say come off there squeeze under that bridge. So now the north and south routes are completely done and it looks really tidy. It's just how we sort these east and west ones out. I'm sort of thinking maybe we just connect in there. It's really not ideal. I could do a third road. That's a lot of concrete to use up. Oh god, this one's going to be so tight to try and fit it in. Sod it. Let's try. Right. Ready? From there. Do I go to the slip road or the main road? I think the main road. All right, so that's connected. And this one from there. I'm doing this one to the slip route. All right, network complete. It could be a bit tight in the middle. Let's press the stopwatch. It clogged a bit. That's not the best, I don't think. 404. Oh, look at our traffic flow. 
Nice. I want to see, could I have done that better? So I'm starting again with this. I've pretty much done the middle stuff, but I've added these corners in. And I've also made these, like, sort of have a big gap down the middle. That's a big central reserve. Just so I can get my bridges in a bit easier. Bridge over, back down, connect up. And then the same from that one down to there. Down, connect in. And then it's just the diagonals which come... From there, over that parallel road, little bridge, connect in, nice. Back down. Is it going to beat for, was it 404? I think it was 404. Let's see. Oh, the traffic, does it look better? I don't know. It's pretty similar. 430. I think that's better. Not a lot though. Still wor worth doing, worth doing. All right, so next level. Oh god, it's, it's a pretty crazy one. I feel like doing it as a roundabout. It's not going to be enough, like, options. Like, everything's just going to clog up around the road. So maybe we want, like, a magic roundabout on this one. So what if we put, like, a load of roundabouts in? All right, so we've got that, which I'm sort of seeing, like, the strongest shape a little bit. Uh, which is usually a good sign. This is... Actually, this is slightly annoying. They're the wrong way round. So they want to go on that direction and off that direction. That's horrible. Uh, but we'll see how that works. So this one, we'll see come off there and go over to there you i think join onto the roundabout but also take a shortcut and you come from the roundabout but also take a shortcut i'm basically doing everything at grade and it's probably going to be an utter mess but uh, i want to see how it works oh god it's clogging up already all right should i press simulate and see if it actually works oh no it's it's a mess it's a mess <laughs> who'd have thought it right so if we start with a big roundabout and then I know that's not going to work from what I just saw. I'm sort of thinking like a dual roundabout. I feel like then we've just made like a two way lane, which is sort of what we want on this level. All right, let's connect all these middle ones up first. These bridges are going to be longer than they need to be, but I'm just I'm doing safety first. So now I can draw my other roundabout, I think. Uh, what direction do I want to go? Oh, I'm going that direction now. Okay. We're going this direction. I don't think that was my original plan, but that's what we're doing now. Squeeze under there. Oh, okay, but we're connected. We are connected. So now we can just connect everything to that. All right, so now we have two roundabouts that aren't linked in the slightest. Yeah, but then we just sort of come to these junctions and, and we link them up, basically. This one, we're going to say, come around there and link to that. Now we've got our first traffic. Yay. So this arm, we can just do that. So essentially, as... People are coming around this way to get them onto everything. We just do a bridge. All right, I've sort of cocked that one already. There's a bridge from there. So now people are finally using this middle roundabout, at least the pinks anyway. We basically just want two options out of and onto everything. So it's like you either use the outer ring or you use the inner ring. So you guys, we can do under the bridge to connect. Oh, we've completed the network. I am not completed though. I want to carry on back to grade connect in oh god my head my head is hurting all oh, right let's let's press the button and see if that works better it should in my head oh and it looks like it is on there as well 485 yes <laughs> oh that was so much better my brain is fried but in my head i was like i sort of knew what i was doing it's basically dual roundabouts to try and split the traffic up a lot like give people a lot more options now, it's basically it's basically my own take on the magic roundabout but rather than combining roundabouts like next to each other you combine them on top of each other if that makes sense i don't think i'm explaining this very well let's go to the next level <laughs> right what the shit is this uh there's a load of reindeer antlers surrounding like a four poster bed Sod it. Let's do the one next to it then. Screw you, game. Oh, look, we got the pyramids. The ancient pyramids. All right, so if we look at these. Ooh, there are different traffic routes. Interesting. So this is crying out for like one of our awesome four-way interchange layouts. Or maybe a magic roundabout, because that was actually the best. So maybe if we did a roundabout on each of these and then connect them together and roundabout there. And then we just go on, off. And then we just connect them together by doing... That sort of thing. So that's the network complete, but we want to make this a magical roundabout by basically doing a roundabout in the middle. So we want to pretty much do that sort of thing. Looks messy. Should, could work. Let's press the button. Oh, it's not looking bad. It's not looking too bad. It is a little bit slow, actually. 342. Oh, look. We unlocked a picture. Ooh, that's a bit boring. A humble, hardworking diamond interchange in Edmonton. So yeah, it's a very, very flat diamond. Like usually you'd expect like a big diamond shape. Let's go back to our map. Have we unlocked? Yes, we've unlocked more. So is this level just 
dead. But yeah, so anyway guys, we all leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I feel like we did some very sort of like sensible solutions. Some very realistic looking and highly efficient designs. Uh, maybe next time we'll do some like real funky stuff. Although the, the sort of the spider roundabout was pretty funky, if you ask me. But yes, peace, love and magic roundabouts. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.